Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, if you could subscribe, a thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. So this is a deep, deep video to talk about. You know, I didn't really want to do this, but I have to get it off my chest because the scenes that we witnessed today online that's going around Twitter of a small portion of Rangers fans that racially abused Cuyahoga is disgusting. Now, not all Rangers fans are bad. You know, every... Every club has a bad dose of fans, and that's Celtic, Rangers, worldwide. We all have bad dose of fans. At the end of the day, they put these colours on, and they put these cars on, they're representing the club, you know, and today they have to give them a bad image to Rangers Football Club for the way they went on. The stuff that they said about Koyogo saying that he's a the dog is disgusting. Now, this, is, this has happened before. This happened with Nakamura. Back in 2007, I have the proof here. I'm going to put up the pictures here of the proof of what this happened. Like, you know, And we're going back to Scott Sinclair as well. Scott Sinclair in 2017 scored a penalty on Ibrox. And there was a particular fan in the crowd doing monkey chants. Like, we're in the 24th century. Technology. People are trolls. But when it comes to racial abuse, it's a different level. You know, we've come across this society of last year, Black Lives Matter. You know, Koyogo's had to come from Japan. He's at the club, what a month. And we have a team that we're playing next week. A small portion of their fans coming out with this abuse. Maybe drunk, still gives them no reason to racially abuse any player. Skin colour, nationality, where they're from. You know, it's absolutely disgusting. You know, it's, I just... I just can't believe we've witnessed this today. You know, um, it's the same with the likes of James McLean. James McLean has been racially abused for many years. Shane Duffy was racially abused by Ranger, Ranger fans last season. Death threats, trolls. It's a different level. Like We need to cop on. At the end of the day, I know there's rivalry in football and there's bitterness in football, but this is another level. This is just a sick level. It's not just one individual. There was like four or five that were singing this song. And you know what? I hope they get prosecuted. I hope there's going to be legal action against, done against them. I hope the police of Scotland are going to look into this and take it further. I know Rangers Football Club have condemned it and they're going to look into it. But we, we need this to be slammed down because if this was Celtic fans doing it to Rangers, you know, I'd be... I'll be, on the, I'll be on the Rangers side saying, okay, that's unacceptable. You can't racially abuse anyone. We're going back to Glenn Kamara being racially abused at the Slavia Prague game in Ibrox at the start of the year. And it went it went viral. It went viral. The whole world was talking about it. And Scott Brown, when we played Rangers, went over and hugged Glenn Kamara saying, we're with you. You know, we like to see a bit of clarity. We like to see a bit of, um, you know, being it together. We're obviously two different football teams, two different beliefs. We don't we dislike each other. But when it comes to showing a bit of respect and just being human beings instead of being animals, that will be welcome, you know? Because it's just it's just disgusting. It really is disgusting. And you know what? I'm gonna talk about this a lot for the next couple of days because we don't know what we're gonna expect now with Koyago going to Ibrox. Is it gonna be jeers and bills? Because he's not in the he's not in the wrong. At the end of the day, he's a footballer. He has to pay the wages. He has to represent Celtic, and there's gonna be if there's gonna be a small minority of fans from an opposition team booing him because he's Japanese and they want to stick up for their their fellow fans. They're not fellow fans. They're hooligans. They're animals, absolute animals, and they've let down Rangers Football Club because as I have many friends that are Rangers fans, and they won't speak like that. They've been raised up to support the team. Yes, we have an we some fans might have in their head, they might not say it, but do you know what? It's out of this world. So I hope the I hope the police get involved and get sorted. You know, as I said, it's um you don't you don't racially abuse someone. As I said, we're going back to Scott Sinclair, Shane Duffy, you know, Nakimura back in two thousand and seven. And there the images are right there in front of, front of you on this video. And just hopefully something's gonna be done. You know, I don't know if it's a case that Rangers would be fined. I know they would be banned from if their season ticket holders they're gonna be banned. And I hope if they're part of any um supporters club, I hope they're they're banned from that for life as well. And I hope their so-called friends 
we'll never talk to them again for what they've done. They might think it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Once something gets put on social media and you present yourself in that way, it's far from a joke. You know, it just shows that you're being literally dragged up. Dragged up. You may you may dislike Celtic, I can understand that, but you do not throw racist abuse at a person that you don't know has done nothing wrong to you. And he hasn't even played against your team yet. Why'd you hate him so much? That's the that's the question. So um look okay. there's been bad doses from every club in the past and you know Celtic are not perfect our fans are not perfect we can admit that but at the end of the day we wouldn't do something like that and if that happened from air side one thing I'd be up on YouTube saying this person needs to be banned from Celtic that person shouldn't even be wearing the colours at the end of the day it's literally a mistaken identity it's a shameful so let us know what you think um I'm just pissed off. I'm really pissed off. You know, I just like this lad playing out his skin football, and that's the type of shite we're dealing with in the world. It's just disgusting. So, comment below, let us know what you think. As I said, this is not targeted at Rangers fans, it's only targeted at these individuals that can um, conducted these chants today, conducted this foul language, conducted the racial abuse thrown at Kyogo. So, um, speak to us all soon. Take care. Have a good week. Take care.